The people who oversee nuclear safety in Japan are still finding their feet. They got to work at the Nuclear Regulation Authority in September after the government merged two other agencies. Their boss, Shunichi Tanaka, says his priority is to win back public trust. NHK World's Kaho Izumitani reports. Shunichi Tanaka is doing a job that's not been done before. He's the new chair of a new agency. He says he's committed to making decisions based on the evidence, something he says that was hard to do before the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. We are not hesitating to make decisions based on objective scientific fact. Honestly speaking, I understand there used to be other issues taken into account. Those who work for Tanaka say they're trying to avoid those kinds of pressures. Inspectors for the Nuclear Regulation Authority looked into a trench at the oil plant on the Sea of Japan. They wanted to determine whether a fault running underneath the compound is active. The people who run the utility are questioning their work even before the release of the findings. The inspection is still ongoing. We plan to explain how we view the situation when we can. But at this point, our position has not changed that the fault is not active. But the investigators are standing firm. Tanaka says people don't understand all the mysteries of nature. He says he learned that lesson two years ago. We lack the minds to humbly face the cause of various accidents. I have been wary of the culture, not doubting the safety myth. The accident at Fukushima provided a good opportunity to change that. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has suggested his government may consider reintroducing more nuclear power and even allowing for the construction of new facilities. The government will go over what we've learned about the nuclear accident and check the progress of nuclear safety technology. I'd like to carefully consider whether new plants can be built. It will take a certain amount of time. Tanaka says he and his staff need to work without interference. The idea to give certain independence to our organization came from the current leading party, even before taking power. So I believe the government will honor our independence. The investigators that looked at the oil plant had hoped to release their findings this month. But they need more time. Some consider their conclusions will be a litmus test for the Nuclear Regulation Authority. People want to know whether the regulators are doing their jobs or acting as a rubber stamp for the government. Kaho Izumitani, NHK World, Tokyo. Japan will be dealing with the problems caused by Fukushima Daiichi for many years to come. Engineers still have a long way to go before they decommission the reactors. Public and private sector groups have set up a joint research organization to figure out how to scrap the units. Industry Minister Toshimitsu Motegi handed over the organization's charter to Kyoto University professor Hajimu Yamana. Yamana will head the International Research Institute for Nuclear Decommissioning. We'll bring together Japanese technology and ideas in order to reach resolutions. More than 500 experts from 17 groups will be part of the institute. They plan to develop remote-controlled robots to work at highly radioactive sites and technologies to remove melted nuclear fuel. It could take as long as 40 years to scrap the reactors. The industry minister says the government will take the lead in drafting a new plan to completely halt the leakage of contaminated water. Toshimitsu Motegi urged the members of an expert panel to work out a concrete proposal by the end of September.
We have to speed up our efforts to compile feasible measures, including the possible release of water below the legal limits of contamination into the ocean. Motegi called for a study on how to pump out groundwater from the mountainside of the reactor buildings and other sites. He also suggested creating underground walls to stop the water from reaching the ocean. In May, TEPCO officials announced a similar plan to release groundwater into the sea before it gets into the plant's compounds. In May, TEPCO officials announced a similar plan to release groundwater into the sea before it gets into the plant's compounds. Fishermen are against the idea. They say it's hard to tell groundwater and contaminated water apart.